Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial of the second series. In today's lesson, we're going to be exploring a bit more on object making. The techniques used here will be different from the last tutorial. Now we're going to make something along these lines, by the same time exploring different techniques on how to use lines, vertices, extrusions, and many other tactics. We'll be creating a chest similar to this, so this is something I started working on before. Just to give you an idea, these colors aren't the same, but um, we'll be working on our own set when it comes to rendering these things. So I'm going to start off by hiding this first of all, and then I'll start a new one so you can see. Just move it around, create another layer, call this chair. Whilst here, I'm going to add everything selected into that layer and I'm going to hide that layer. So let's go back to the original layer. Okay, so let's start off by going over to the create panel. Make sure you've got your shapes tab selected and then get the line tool. Go over to the left viewport and maximize that. Now we're going to leave this central line below here. So just click and drag the middle button of your mouse to pan the viewport. Go ahead and start drawing. But before you do that, press S on your keyboard. That enables the snap option. Now we're snapping to the grid behind our viewport. Go over and start making your lines. Just follow what I'm doing. So from, from this point, just click and drag until you get a shape similar to what I have here. And then maybe just click once and then click and drag down here until you get what I have. And automatically as you move your mouse on this side, you should get that shape. Then go over, maybe from here, and then click and drag again until you get that shape uh, on your screen or on my screen. Click then let go, then right click and then we've got the first part of our chair. If there are any mistakes, we can always modify this later on. For example, just go over to the modifier panel, drag this up, or you can just simply click on that. Get your vertices. You can remove the snap at any time by pressing S again, and that gives you full control. So we can reduce the size of that a little bit. So just play around with this until it makes sense to you. And I think I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So for the next stage, what we're going to do is select the spline. So make sure you're on your modifier panel and you've got this line selected to get these options. So now go over to the spline and then just drag this down until you see outline. As soon as you click on that and you hover, over your object, you notice a little cross appear. When you click on that, it turns red, and then you just drag out. You're literally duplicating the other line by keeping it within the same object. And there you go. So once you let go of that, this is what we have so far. So now we're going to try and create the other part of it, which is the leg over here. It's illustrated here. Now that we've got our line duplicated, with our object still selected, go over to, to create line. And this will allow us to add a line to our object, if you like. Then from here, just click on a central point, maybe, maybe here. Then click on the actual line itself. I think around, uh, around here should be fine. I don't click and drag, just click once and that should be right. And then you can click and drag it from here to give it that curve. And if you make a mistake like I have now, just press backspace. So do it a little bit more forward. Let's see if we get it right this time. Yep, that's right. Just drag it down to here. I think that's pretty cool. Um, now we are not going to be duplicating 
this line here we'll simply continue it we'll try and do it freehand because we want to make another curve around here so what I'm gonna do is just click there click once but then when you come in here click and drag just to make that little curve I'm quite happy with that and then click somewhere else one more time then right click to let go now you notice we've got a lot of random lines here these are very easy to tidy providing all the lines are within the same object so we don't have multiple stuff just that same one object just scroll down on your command panel until you find trim bear in mind you may you need to make sure you've still got you've still got the spline selected if not just hit the little plus down here and make sure you select the spline like like so so i'm going to go back to trim as soon as you select that you hit trim you notice we've lost the little line that was here you do the same around there um, let's change the shape of that a little bit press undo go over to your vertex for now and maybe just move that over here move that a little bit what I want to do so I've I've moved that vertex over another so I'm just gonna weld it to stop to stop it doing that problem you can increase the amount uh, to help you capture everything around that area but I think I'll leave it on two for now as soon as I hit weld maybe increase that to eight um, when you hit weld you should see these two red dots join up so increase it until until this works I think the object is a little bit big um, let's go back to trim again and see ah and when you trim it that's how it should come up so then click trim again here and that's basically making it all into one object so that when we extrude it we're going to extrude it all as one rather than different segments so once you've done that what we want to do is weld any vertices that aren't connected so before we do that i want to duplicate this whole shape Go ahead and just click on create so that you come out of the editing mode go over to the top viewport press shift just click and drag towards the x-axis direction so we've duplicated it make sure we've got that on copy say okay and that's fine now go back to your original object and then go to the modify panel select vertex let's click and drag to select that whole shape only the original is selected if you look up here the new one is not selected what we want to do is weld all those vertices that aren't connected so set a distance I'd recommend try maybe three to start with basically once you once we hit weld, we don't want the shape to change. When you hit that, uh, the shape's changed up here. So I think three is a bit much, or if not, we can do it manually by section actually. So maybe select this part here, because I think this is where we might have a few problems. Hit weld, and you notice a few bits have welded and then some have but then we've lost them let's just try and do that section increase that a bit I think that's working I think it's okay we need 
to move that closer to suspect. Yeah. So as soon as you move them closer, you hit world again. Now we've connected those two dots. They, they've become one now. And we're gonna do the same to these. I think these are okay, but I'm just gonna weld them anyway. I think that should be right. Maybe down here as well. Let's select those two, weld, and that's okay. Let's go over and extrude that shape. If every point has been welded properly, this should extrude as one whole piece other than different sections. So go ahead to the modifier panel and select extrude. As soon as you hit that, let's check now if it's worked okay. Um, you'll notice we've got a bit of, we've got some gaps in there, so we need to weld it properly. Just hit undo. Make sure you've still got your vertex selected. And I think from here we can sort of tell it's these two points here. So just go over to your left viewport, for example. Just click and drag that over to that point, then select them and weld. That should have sorted out the problem now. Well, I hope so. Let's go back to this shape again. Try and extrude that and voila, this time, it's not hollow anymore. That's exactly what we wanted. And I think that's pretty much it for, for our model. We've created that shape quite comfortably. And later on, I'm gonna show you how to render it. But right now what I want to do, create the outer shell. So we've created the inner shell. We want to create the outer section. So remember the line we duplicated and left aside, we're gonna use that now. Go ahead and select our original line. Now, because we didn't weld every part of this properly, this should be hollow. So in this case, just apply an extrude modifier. And as soon as you do that, just go over to this color here, change it so we know exactly what we're doing. Yeah, that's working pretty good. So let's move that over, something like that. And then go ahead and apply another modifier to that. Add the shell modifier. As soon as you click that, that's what we have. And now you can see we've got our two layers. So we've got the outer skin, which is this here. And then we've got the inner skin, like so. So this is what we made earlier. And this is what we've just made now. They look exactly the same. And I think, yeah, that's a very quick tutorial in creating a futuristic chair. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the next lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in today and uh, bye for now.